A bit of Friday afternoon fun. I've just been given a, a beta version of Naxport to explore their new dashboard feature pending. So I've taken an existing dashboard. I've taken all the data out to allow me to use that as a backdrop for their dashboard features. So I can put things now over the top of that as a placeholder. So here's a quick value to start off with. If I choose a tackle team one, missing a tackle, change the font color, change the background color, save it down. I can then hold down control to move it. And now I've got interaction with the value to start off with. Next up, I want a chart, a graph. I particularly want a pie chart of number of tackles, three men or not three men within a tackle set. So I can change the particular things, save it down, I can change the background to be transparent and I can move the values into place. I can resize it. Just quickly going to add a clip into the timeline to enable me to add a new graph. This one I'm just going to add some values for tackle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. I can then resize it as usual and reposition it and change the transparency. A quick a stack chart for tackle one six for positive and negative in a stacked mode. Okay, so let's see it in operation. Team one, miss a tackle. We get our numbers coming up. In a tackle one, there were three men, not three men. We get our, by, our pie chart working in tandem. If it was tackle six, it was positive or negative. We get our little column stack working. If it's tackle two, three, four, we got our little bar chart working. Okay, last one guys, this is where it gets exciting, the interaction with the values, being able to just click on and take me straight to the clips that match my criteria, whether it be with a graph or with a value, so I can go back and review. So it changes the dynamic of how you can pull stats back to video. Exciting times, life in beta.